Okay, so we are standing here with the whole homecoming court for 2019. Natalie is the queen this year. Natalie, how did it feel to win the homecoming court this year? Um, it's awesome. I'm really excited. What do you think you did going through your high school career to make it to this point? Um, I don't know. I've really tried to be involved in a lot of things. I do band, I do choir, just a lot of things. Yeah, that's helpful. And how about you, Carter? How did it feel to win the homecoming court this year? Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty exciting. Um, I wasn't exactly expecting it, so uh, it was. It's pretty cool. Ah, oh, it's always good to have a nice surprise, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, what are your plans for after high school? Um, I'd like to attend college <laughs> for for engineering. Oh, um, for engineering? Yeah. Do you know where you want to go? Um. Oh, and you would be pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, Natalie, how about you? I'm not totally sure yet, but probably Kent State for journalism. Oh, my gosh, that's fantastic. My sister actually did that, really? too, and she went to Kent State, too. Oh God, yes. Yeah, it's a good school for journalism. Yeah, so definitely. do you want to be a reporter when you get done? Probably. We'll see. <laughs> do you want the mic right now? <laughs> no, I'm good. No. You can have it. Thank you, though. What was the most exciting part of the game last night? Um, I perform with the band, and so it's my last homecoming show, and that was really awesome. My mom's an alumni, so she got to come down and play next to me, and that was really exciting. What yeah. instrument do you play? Trumpet. Oh, oh my gosh, I did too. We have a lot in common. <laughs> okay, and how about you? What was the most exciting part for you last night? Uh, probably hanging out with all my friends for our last homecoming game. Uh, it was it, our last one, so it was, it, was pretty, it was pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of happy people there, so... All right. Well, congratulations to everybody on the court this year. Enjoy the parade today, and we'll talk to you more soon. Okay, so we are standing next to Chris Flynn over here, who is an Avon Lake High School graduate. Is that correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Chris, when did you graduate from high school? 95. <laughs> Ask me how I know that. Because you graduated with me. <laughs> That's right. So you have a daughter on yeah. this globe today, don't you? Yes. She's right there. Ava. Ava! How, how old are you, Ava? I'm eight. You're eight? Are you excited to be on this float today? Yeah. What school do you go to? Redwood. You do. What grade are you in? Third. Third grade? Okay. What do you want to say to everybody in Avon Lake today? Hi! <laughs> how about you, honey? How, what grade are you in? Third grade. Third grade? So you know Ava too, right? Yeah. Okay. And what do you want to say to everybody today at home? Um, happy homecoming. That's a good one. <laughs> we'll have fun at the parade today. Thanks, you too. Okay. okay, Mayor Zilka, it's a beautiful day out here, and you have your maroon and gold on, I That's see. That's right. Um, as a former high school teacher at Avon Lake High School for 35 years, I won't tell you how old this jacket is, but I'm pleased it still fits. So <laughs> It looks fantastic, okay, too. How, how's everything going today so far? It's going well. You know, it's a gorgeous day, and it's nice and cool, a little chilly in the shade, but in, in the sun, it's perfect. And, of course, we always like to think it's always a beautiful day in Avon Lake, right? Right. Did you have a chance to go out to the game last night? Oh, yeah, I was there. I was at the gate at 5 o'clock and got to watch the game, and uh, Sorman prevailed, and uh, we had a couple of inter injuries, one on Amherst team, and there was another young man who was a cameraman who uh, got nailed, but, but uh, apparently everyone's fine. But yeah. uh, it was, it was a, a good night, pleasant night. Yes, okay, so the Avon Lake Shoremen were 35-0 and 0 last night, is that right? Yeah, it was 35 to nothing, and they, they, they won six in a row, and... Uh, is they've had a very good season and they're really a good team. Just I amazing. Know. Yeah. Just amazing. So our hats off to Coach Kostelnik and all the other folks who help out. It's yeah. great.